Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about self-worth, knowing your worth, putting a dollar value on your time, and your experience and your skills. There's a story going around social media uh, I saw not long ago about Pablo Picasso's napkin. I don't know if you've heard the story or not, but most likely it's a story that actually never happened, but I'm sure it's just some sort of myth. The story goes like this. Picasso is sitting at a table at a restaurant. Somebody sees him and recognizes him and walks up to him and asks him for a drawing. He says, can you make me a drawing? I'll pay for it. Name your price. Picasso breaks out a napkin and a black pencil and promptly draws a goat. It takes him about 30 seconds to about a minute, and it's obviously a goat by Picasso. The guy says, thank you, reaches out his hand and asks him for the napkin, and Picasso says, that'll be $100,000. And the guy's like, that's ridiculous. It only took you 30 seconds to draw that. And Picasso responds, no, it didn't. It took me my entire life to draw that. It's a great story, and it's something that I've struggled with in my life, and my wife has struggled with in her life as well. We are both docs. We both own our practice. We practice together, and we both have humble upbringing. So it's difficult for us to ask people to pay for our services, or at least it was hard for us at the beginning of our career. It's a little bit easier now, now that we know our worth. But what happens is sometimes in a day, a patient will get in your face about overcharging or some service that you've done, and they think it's a little bit too much, and they question you on it. Early in my career, I had a tough time answering those questions, but I don't anymore. It's just like Picasso's napkin. My skills and my services have taken me a lifetime to perfect, be efficient, and, and we're good at it. So we should charge for that skill. It took me four years of college, four years of professional, a residency. I was 26 years old by the time I got out of school. Same with my wife. It takes time to hone those skills as a doctor and a medical professional. And... Obviously, there's, there's a fee involved with that, too, for the, for the education, the, the formal training, and honestly, your time. It takes a lifetime to do what docs do, hence why you have a tendency to get charged for those services. When it comes to what we do for a living, there's not a whole lot of people out there that do this. Not everyone is a doctor. It takes some time to do that. I don't want to sound like I'm a pompous jerk, but I put a lot of effort in my, in my education, in my training, in my skills, and I take it very seriously. I also have some fun. So when I walk into an exam room, that patient isn't just getting 10 minutes of my time. They're getting a lifetime worth of knowledge, skills, and experience. That's what they're getting when they get time with me, my wife, or any other, other doc, or any other profession for that matter. So if you struggle with this, asking for a, a fee for a service, don't. If you've put some time into something to perfect it, it's okay to charge for it. It's also okay to put a dollar value on your time, which is the main point that I wanted to do with this episode. Your time is valuable just like mine. There's a certain dollar value that's associated with the time that you spent in school, in training, in experience. All of that stuff matters. So you should be paid for those skills. So any trade, if somebody has a skill that's, that's needed and not a whole lot of people offer it, there's automatically more intrinsic value in that. If you have skills and knowledge that not a whole lot of people have and a lot of people are looking for, your time is worth more than your average Joe. So don't feel bad about it. Know your worth. Put a dollar value on your time. Say, for instance, mowing your lawn. Okay, fellas. It takes about an hour to mow your lawn, right? Give or take on average. 
Well, how much is an hour of your time worth? Put a dollar value on that. Now, if your time is worth more than you can pay somebody else to do it, you're actually ahead. So the point, don't underestimate your value. Everyone has a finite amount of time. Everyone has an intrinsic value. Definitely not saying that people, certain people don't have a value of their time, but people that have skills that are rare and are needed, the dollar value of that person's time is definitely worth more than the average Joe. So don't feel bad about it. So when I walk into an exam room with a patient, they're getting the experience, they're getting the knowledge, and they're getting the personality. I come into the room, I'm absolutely focused on what the patient needs and wants, and perhaps maybe get a laugh or two uh, while we do it and have some fun while we're doing it. And know your worth. Know the value of your time and put a dollar value on your time. All right. So if you're liking the content, please like, share, subscribe. This channel is all about self-improvement, not only in relationships, but in career, in your life. I want you to have a good perspective on life. Go through life with a smile, having fun, and with no regret. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.